In this video, I'm going to go over a piece of software that allows you to share files and folders across your local area network. And the piece of software is called NitroShare. If you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that has a demonstration of how to use the software along with or to download it for multiple operating systems. So it is a cross-platform uh, piece of software. So NitroShare, as I said, is a cross-platform network file transfer program. You can transfer files or folders over your wireless network. So therefore, it's not a program just to share files across the internet. It's if you've got multiple devices on your home network, it allows you to send a file or folders from one operating system or type of system to another system. It works with Linux, Windows, Mac, and Android. And if you're on a Linux system, an Ubuntu or Debian based system, you can download the deb file here and install it on your system. If you're on a Windows and or Mac system, click a link here and it'll allow you to download the executable file for Windows users. There's the 64-bit, the 32-bit, and for Win uh, the Mac users, there's the DMG file. And Linux users, you can uncompress it and compile it yourself on other uh, distributions. Androids users can click the Android link and download it and install it on their Android devices. So it is a cross-platform system. And if you have other type of a Linux distribution, you can come here and click the link for the source or you can download it for other distributions. And and there's I have the link to this the actual software's website on my particular website. So here's basically the first an introduction to once you get it working on your system. Here's the features and I'm not going to go through and read all the features. I got that basically off of that website and there's the link to it if you click. It would take you to the developers website. Now here's how to install NitroShare. Now there is a newer version out which is point 3.4 and on Windows it works great the new version on my Ubuntu Mate 20.04.3 the long-term support when I tried to install the newest version I had some dependency problems I don't know if it's with the operating system or some other software install but it did work with the point 0.3.3-1 so if you're installing the newest version and you have dependency problems remove it and install a older version it works great and it will work the older version with newer versions and I'll show you that in just a few moments but click the link and it allows you as you can see down there in the lower left corner when you I hover over it you can see it it will download this file to your system and then once you get it downloaded double click the file and it should bring up the whatever package installer that's installed on your system if you don't have a package installer for your Ubuntu or Debian based system you can open up your terminal and put sudo at install gdeb and gdeb will bring up the package then the gdeb package installer where you can click the install package button it will prompt you for your password and wait before it says same version already installed before you click the close button on the package installer and if for some reason when you go to your internet folder if you do not see NitroShare then just reboot your system and it should show up in your uh, menu once you click NitroShare, you'll see this for the first time and then you won't see it anymore when you click on to NitroShare. So this will be your first time run that gives you a little brief description and introduction on NitroShare. And you close that and then it will bring, it will place it in the t system tray. So when you click on the icon, you'll get send file, send directory, view your transfers from one system to the other. You can look at your settings, about, about QT and exit. So as you can see, it's written in QT. I recommend going to your settings so if you want to change your download location by default it will create a folder in your downloads folder called NitroShare and that's where everything that's transferred from the other machine to your machine it will put it in a NitroShare in the downloads folder. You can change that by clicking the three dots and selecting a folder of your choice. Here's the behavior. You can check this to, to run on auto uh, when you log in but that just loads something else in the system tray which takes a little more time I'm not always sending files from one machine to another so I uncheck that particular box but make sure that you do have allow local applications to interact with NitroShare or it won't work and make sure you have that check so that you're receiving files if you don't have that check it's like a firewall it will block it out the next tab you see will be the security tab and that's if you want to make it uh, encrypted so I don't because I'm on my own network from one machine to the other if you decided you wanted to you could check that and make the settings accordingly here's what's important when you click on the advanced button if you're running 
a firewall, the uh, UFW firewall, then you're going to need to know the ports and the port numbers to give your firewall permission to allow files to and from. See, this is where it's broadcasting, and this is the transfer port. So if you, you need to look and see what number these are, you can use up and downs, or you can highlight that and overwrite those. And I chose the default. I allowed them into my firewall. So that way that I just opened up my terminal, copied that command, pressed the enter key, put my password, and it added that rule. And then I added the next number, and then it added that rule. And that way, when I opened up uh, the program, it give permission and you can open up your firewall uh, here to see it you can go like in my case system preferences internet and network and click on the firewall configuration then you click on rule and you can see that it added the two rules here so it allows incoming on that port and that port so it won't block out now instead of showing you pictures now let's actually show it in action let's go to internet we're going to go to NitroShare. It'll take a moment or two, and there it's loaded up. So when I click onto it, send the file, I don't have it on my other system. So in order for you to see it, I've installed a virtual machine, and I got Linux Lite because it is a smaller Linux uh, version than what I have here. So let's go and turn it on. So let's go to Internet, click onto NitroShare, and in a few moments, as you can see, it's over here running in the system tray. So in just a moment, you'll see a little pop-up indicating that it's now found it within both systems, from the Linux Lite and from the Ubuntu Mate. Let's say send a file. Let's just choose a small file. I'm going to choose this little uh, file. Well, I'll even send the 25 megabyte file. It's to my printer. It's to install the printer software. So I click Open. And as you can see here, you're going to select, if you've got multiple devices with NitroShare on them, you'll see all the devices that's currently running in the system trays of here and down up here. Uh, you'll click on that, and then you can send it to that operating system. Here, the Linux light is the Linux light you see in the background. So I hit OK. And as you can see, it's transferring from my Ubuntu Mate. And I got a little thing saying, NitroShare transfer with Linux Lite succeeded. And as you can see on the Linux Lite transfer, so if I click here and then I say view the transfers, as you can see on the Linux Lite, it actually 100% succeeded. So when I go to my bring up my file manager, I'll go to the downloads folder, which is here. It created a folder called NitroShare, and there is the printer for my Hewlett Packard printer on. Uh, my, that's connected to my system. So if I wanted to install the printer driver, I would just install it from that particular file. Now let's go the other way. Let's send a file from the Linux Lite and say send a file and then let's choose, I'll choose the calendar file which I have here. I'll hit open and I'm going to choose the desktop just as I did on the other direction. Hit OK and it says 100% and as you can see up here in my Ubuntu Mate it let me know that it received it so if I click on the dat or click onto it say view transfers it should and it's here in the taskbar as you can see on the Linux Lite 100% receiving and sending and on the Ubuntu Mate 100% sending and receiving so if I open up my file manager I go to my downloads it created a nitro share and there is the calendar. I don't know why it created a calendar here and I could probably go on my settings and turn that off but there's nothing in that folder it's just something that was sent with this particular file. So if I double click on that that just allows me to look at the calendar which I sent from the Linux light system to my Ubuntu Mate. So this is just basically a quick rundown on a, a print a piece of software called NitroShare that allows you to send files across your local area network. Like I said, this is not just for Linux users. Even though I'm using Ubuntu Mate, which is Linux, and Linux Lite, which is Linux, you can also install this on a Windows system and it works great. I do have a Windows 10 system at my house that I use Plex on that I sent from my one system to my other. Now, I am using version 3.3 on this system here my Ubuntu Mate it's 3.3 on the Linux Lite I am using 
3.4 so you can mix versions so if one system can handle the 3.4 without any dependency issues I recommend you to install the newest 3.4 on your system so far I've not noticed any differences uh, from the 3.4 than the 3.3 so if you can't install the 3.4 then it should be able to install the 3.3 or the 0.3.3 on your system hopefully this has been a helpful to you to understand how to send files from one system to another and it does support Android I haven't installed it on an Android device but it says it will install on Android devices so I'm taking their word for it but I do know that it works with Linux to Windows and from Linux to Linux hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day